He's coding. Nurse, get five cc's of parallelograms and one Sega Genesis. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, doopity doo. I've got some medical laughs analysis for you. People. You don't have a double chin. What you do have is bad posture. So all you need to do is two steps. Bring your shoulders up, back and down. Bring your chin slightly forward and then slightly down and look at the difference that <laughs> <laughs> That's backwards. No, you want to keep your shoulders open, chest open, facing the world, ready to take on challenges. I don't know if you notice, I've started working out again. I'm really sore and this really hurts. Things TikTok made me buy. Ooh. This is a phone charger that supposedly leads you to the strongest power source in the entire house. Oh no. <laughs> went to a mitochondria. The powerhouse of the cell. Touche. Golf clap for that. <laughs> this gives new meaning to walking your dog. Honestly, if my dog walked like that, I wouldn't put it on a leash. I would just say like, look, my dog walks next to me. I would hold its paw. When you finally get that long white coat and your boys invite you over to watch the game. Students wear short lab coats, white coats, and doctors wear long ones. So if you ever see people in short white coats walking around, they could be students. I can't take it off. I can't take it off, like, take it off, I can't. Take it off, I can't take it off. Like, take it off, I can't. You don't wanna take it off. I remember when I was a student and I went through my white coat ceremony and I had my white coat for the first time. I remember pulling up to Coney Island Hospital, parking my car two blocks away and proudly wearing the white coat as I walked the two blocks from my car. When really I still had like seven years of education left and I'm like, mm. This is gonna be stressful. Do you remember that patient you saw yesterday for chest pain? <laughs> Malpractice lawyers near me. <laughs> Fire doctor, anything helps. Yes, how come? I ran into her today. She's doing so much better. Thanks for your care. It's so true. I will literally have someone from my office staff say, oh, you know that patient you saw for something? And the anxiety level starts creeping up. Like, did something bad happen? Did they file a complaint? And it's not because that happens often. In fact, that's really rare for it to happen. But it like there's this fear that you did something wrong because you want to do right by everybody. It is scary. You want the best for your patients. And as a doctor, you're going to miss stuff. You're going to misdiagnose things because patients' conditions don't always present so clearly. They take time to develop. Part of the art of medicine. Ugh, I have such a bad headache. I have essential oils. Wait, is this safe? Of course, doctors use it all essential the time. Essential oils. Literally cures anything. Here, breathe this for 30 seconds. Keep breathing it in. Burn my that means it's working. Closer. You have to believe in it or it won't. He's like chloroforming her with the essential oil. Or it won't work. My arm is literally burning. Almost forgot the crystal. Just keep breathing. I don't want to do this anymore. He threw in a Reiki crystal. Yeah. Just one more oil. Feel better? My headache's gone. I told you. Wait, is that grapefruit? Yeah, why? I'm allergic. So I don't have an essential oil for that? He's gonna need an EpiPen, and luckily he's not over the Atlantic Ocean. If you haven't seen that story of mine, link down below. Saline implants are made to withstand almost anything. Watch me as I try to break it. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay, I don't know if this person is a legitimate doctor. I don't know what the purpose of fighting that saline implant was. I don't know the durability of saline implants, but I'd like to think they're quite durable. I don't know if they're made <laughs> He twisted and turned like that. And I've actually had patients come in who had an implant that ruptured, saline implant. The one experience I've had was a patient came in and she walked into this, like the edge of her car door and like she like kind of turned in and didn't expect the door to be there and it punctured the implant. Ooh, that hurt. But we right away got her an urgent plastic surgery eval and it got figured out. Sweetheart, there's no need to worry. You won't feel a thing. Why when anyone on TikTok tries to play a female character, they put, a disgusting white towel on their head and they're like, oh, that somehow represents female hair. Okay. 
If you ever enter a pediatrician's office or a family medicine doctor's office, there is screams galore that is part of the process. Because children are naturally nervous, they get scared, there's stranger anxiety. This is part of normal development. And when we give vaccines, even if it doesn't hurt that much, it's scary. Imagine a stranger bringing a needle to you. So yes, there are screams all the time. My strategy is to give the child a distraction and sometimes a present before I do anything. Not, I'll give you a lollipop if you listen, but Here's a lollipop, so you listen. I just want you to know that I miss you and I love you. Can't wait for this show to be over uh. so that I can touch people. Touch people? Mm? No, honestly, like I wanna go back, this sounds weird, but to touching people. <laughs> I wanna go back to shaking hands. Insider, I don't know if you follow it, it's an Instagram account. They recently posted that like handshakes are about to become a thing of the past. No, it's not, Insider. Handshakes are an important part of nonverbal communication for humans. It's how we trust others. It's how we show we have no weapons from back in the day. But it's like a way to communicate with someone. A handshake tells a lot about that person, about your relationship, about how you're gonna communicate. And the fact that there's a pandemic going on, sure, we can suspend it now, but it doesn't mean we need to be afraid of all germs and become germ phobic. Pandemic, no handshakes. No pandemic, handshakes. See how that works? We don't have to swing the pendulum the complete other way every time something happens. Funny. Oh my God. So yeah, there's Hodgkin's and not Hodgkin's lymphoma. And again, they're using the little towel or the pillowcases for the hair. I don't get it. Come with me and you'll be in a world of HIPAA violations. <laughs> HIPAA violations. For those of you who don't know, HIPAA is Health Information Patient Protection Act. <laughs> Health Information Patient Protection Accountability Act. <laughs> Health Information Protection Accountability Act. <laughs> it's down below. No, 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 no. When I was in the hospital and I worked the 36 hour shift, I wasn't like, in fact, when you're leaving the hospital after a 24 hour, 36 hour shift, you're literally walking with your eyes half closed, body fluids all over your scrubs, placenta on your shoe if you're working in the OB department. Residency is a hard time. There would be a period where I wouldn't see my friends for a month and they're like, where were you? I'm like, ICU life, six days a week, 18 hour days, tough. Good morning, sexy doctors, and welcome to hospital. Six of you will die this season, and I don't want to catch any of you having sex in the on-call room, unless it's with me. He's coding. Nurse, get five cc's of parallelograms and one Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> the chest compressions are like this, and she's getting parallelograms and Sega Genesis, which is the first ever video game console I've owned. God, that's brilliant. Medical dramas are so inaccurate. Uh-oh. Are they cutting into it with a Cuisinart knife? That is not an approved medical piece of technology that's made for chicken and steaks. That was a good flap. I'm not gonna lie, solid flap. <laughs> was that supposed to be a delivery of macaronis? Those are little macaronis. How did they get the macaronis inside the banana? You guys are gonna probably laugh at me. Those aren't macaronis, right? Those are like fettuccines or God, what's like the long pasta called? Ah, it starts with a Z. No, it doesn't. Let's give another huge thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. The link is down below. Click it to get up to three months free. And if you wanna know how I got into med school, click here for this video. And if you wanna see how I stay productive with some easy tips for you, click here for a Productivity 101 video. As always, stay happy and healthy. Which one are you clicking on? <laughs>